Hi everyone, it's Brenda from Stamplicity here with another video tutorial. I apologize, I know last week we didn't get a video, I was having some technical issues. So I'm here with two techniques to, uh, today to show you with mica powders. These will be the last two techniques I show you and we're going to move on to something new next month. So again, we're going to be working with mica powders and the ones that I'm using uh, are going to be the ones from uh, the Finnabar from Prima Marketing. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do two things with them. First, to create a paint, and second, to create um, a glitter spray or a glimmer spray. So here is my sample with the paints. Uh, and I think the camera can pick up the sheen uh, that the flowers have. And that's because we use mica powders to create these paints. So I'm going to show you how that's done, and then I'm going to show you how to create a glimmer spray. So I already have an image that I've stamped and embossed on a piece of cardstock. Um, this is a stamp set from Marianne Design Collectibles. It's an actual uh, stamp and it's got matching dies as well. As you can see what on my sample, you can see those, those flowers are die cut. Um, and I've just used uh, black VersaFine to stamp the images and then coated them with a clear embossing powder and then heat embossed it. Now, I think it's really important when you're doing um, a coloring in technique with, with these paints made from mica powders to have an embossed image. Um, the reason being, it gives you that little, um, that little ledge or that ridge to stay in the lines. So um, if you've got a steady hand, you can just stamp and go ahead and uh, paint. But I find when you emboss it, you'll get a better result. Okay, so all you're going to do then is then take your mica powders and I'm just going to put just a little bit on my craft sheet here. That's a, that's a whole lot. And then just spray some water on your craft sheet and now you're just going to mix the two. Now the more mica powder you have in with your water, um, the more opaque it will be. Um, just gonna mix that up. So depending on what you're coloring will determine how much paint you should mix up, but we got a lovely now shimmery watercolor paint here. So, um, and that's all you've gotta do. And I'm just gonna take some off my brush here. And then now you can go ahead and color in your image. Now at first it's gonna be look, look very liquidy, but as that dries, it will dry nice and flat and you'll have this beautiful shimmer to that paint. Now, as before, especially with these mica powders, um, they're not set, even though we've mixed water with them. So you do want to spray them once it's dry, once your project is dry, to spray them with a uh, workable fixative. All right, so I'm going to continue painting that um, and then I'm going to create just another sample like this one here um, with my finished product here. So there is that cute little card that I've created with that. Okay, so that's one way of um, using the mica powders. The other way is creating a shimmer spray. So I have just a bottle of water here. Um, this is the Ranger uh, Mr. Bottles. I really like these ones. Um, I've, got, oh, I've got some water in there. I'm not going to go refill it for um, for this purpose, but um, it's it's pretty simple. You're just going to go ahead, open up your um, mica powders. You're just going to take some of the mica powders and put them right into the water. Um, depending on how much mica powder you put in will determine how shimmery that spray will be. All right, so replace the lid. Now, just a little trick um, I've learned through the years. Um, when you have any type of glimmer spray, whether it be the Perfect Pearl Mist, um, the Prima Marketing uh, Glimmer Mist, the Tattered Angels, um, shake it side to side rather than a normal shake that you would normally do. The reason being is that the mica will actually settle to the bottom uh, if it's not being used, um, so you need to give it a good shake. However, if you shake it normally, uh, like you would with anything else, the mica powders actually get shot up into the, the nozzle here, and then that um, then you have a risk of uh, the, the nozzle being clogged with the mica powders. So if you shake it back and forth like this, you're not pushing that mica powder up the, up the nozzle. Um, so just shake it back and forth, all right, until there's no sediment sitting on the bottom. All right, and then you can go ahead and use that as a spray. 
Okay, so as you can see, as that dries, um, you're gonna have a beautiful blue glimmer spray. It's not gonna change the color of the paper. It's just gonna give a hint of that glitter, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm, I would take a heat gun, but it's, it's out of my re reach right now to show you when it's all dry. But that's just another way that you can use mica powders, all right? Again, because I use the Prima Marketing, um, I will want to do a workable fixative over top of it. Now, if I was using the Perfect Pearls from Rangers, I wouldn't have to put a workable fixative over top of it because it's got that binder agent in it. So there are two techniques, creating a paint, and a shimmer spray using mica powders. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.